Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading from Psalm 119, backtracking a little bit, going back to verse 163, Psalm 119, 163. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Verse 163 says, I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. God's people hate sin, or they are not God's people. Listen to me well so that you are not deceived into thinking that you are saved because you prayed the sinner's prayer or because you go to church that calls itself evangelical, that claims to believe the Bible, whatever, that you've been baptized, that you go to communion. God's people hate sin or they aren't God's people. Anyone who can enjoy sin and continue in it is no child of God. God's children hate sin. They hate sin in others, and they also hate it in themselves. God's children get frustrated with their own spiritual and moral failures. Like with the Apostle Paul, what I want to do, I do not, but what I hate, that I do. Romans chapter 7. Let's read verse 163 again. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Did you catch how the Bible just affirmed itself to be 100% truth? Falsehood, lying, is contrasted with Scripture. Scripture is the opposite of what is false because every word of Scripture is true. Every word of the Bible is true. There isn't one single mistake in the written word of Almighty God. So, the more you get used to the Bible, the more you will enjoy it. The more you read the Word of God, the more normal it will, it will become to you. And the more you will enjoy it, the more you will then appreciate it. And the more you appreciate it and get used to it, the more you will see the benefits of living it, which is why, like the writer, God's people who love the Word of God, who read the Word of God, hate, they absolutely despise anything that goes against it. It rubs them the wrong way, like taking your fingernails and sliding them down a blackboard. When you understand the benefits of truth, you will also see the problems associated with believing and living what is false. In other words, believing and living what is contrary to the Word of God. And you will hate it. You will despise it. You will despise it because it breaks your fellowship with God when you do it. You will despise it because it stops him from hearing your prayers when you do it. And you will despise it because you know that doing what is false in a world that is built upon principles of truth, it will cause trouble for you, as well as being offensive to Almighty God. For more of God's Word, go to the Bible, verse by verse dot com.